Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint choice column records. This is my SharePoint list. It's called list A. Let's go to the list settings. You can see I got a type choice column called courses. And I have got four values against it. And the display choices I'm using is the checkboxes. I have multiple selections. So to filter the courses in Power Automate, we need to, we need to use the schema name. To find the schema name, you need to go to the URL. At the end of the URL, it will show field equals courses. So we need to use the schema name for filtering the records. The column name you are seeing here is the display name. Sometimes, or majority of the cases, the, co the column name and the scheme name can be the same, but some cases, you know, users um, users can rename the the column names. So, when you, if you are going to filter those records, still you need to use a scheme name, which you can find using the URL that is field equals the scheme name and the scheme name scheme name here is the courses. Okay. Let's go back to Power Automate. So here I am going to use the SharePoint connector. And I am after get items. Okay, in the next stage, we need to set the filter query here. So the scheme name is courses is equal to, I'm after information technology. Okay, next add a compose. And map the title. Here, Power Automate automatically inserts a apply to each loop. The reason for this is because get items can return more than one items. Okay, let's save this flow and test it. So we are after filtering filtering uh, the value called information technology. So I have got one and two. There are two records I'm expecting. The first one, it is against the title th nine, and the other one is the title three. Okay, let's go back. Here it is. So as you can see here, it's showing two records, show one of two. The first one, title three, click next. It's showing, it is showing the title dash nine, which is the second record. Okay. So to filter the, the column values, which is the courses, and that's a choice column. What we need to do here is put the scheme name is equal to two single quotations and the value you are after. This is the way you can filter the records using Power Automate. Thank you for watching.